Finding a good web host is very, very hard. But when my experience, I've ran into all kind of problems. I ran into having to pay for my domain. I've had to pay for actually transferring my sites and my work. And even the biggest thing that I find even more annoying is limited storage. And I've done all of these things and I've given you top 10 web hosts. And we're gonna start right now and show you that all of things that I have done, I've listed each and every one of those to better fit you. And that way you can actually click in the link in the descriptions and try them out for yourself. Now, we're gonna start with the first one that I have in mind and it's host wins. Now, host wins is very awesome. I think that the biggest saying for host wins is that the, the pros of it is that it has really high spec servers that are available for you. So it's really, really quick. They have competitive pricing for you as well and SSL security. But what I did not like about host wins was that the support side could be intimidating for beginners. So if you're really just getting started into web hosting, that could kind of give you a bit of a problem. And so that's one thing that I found not very great uh, for that, but it is going to be my number one uh, is host wins. Now, when we're speaking about number two, which is going to be liquid web. Now, what I liked about it was that it was responsive uh, and they had really great tech support for that. Now, they do have a money uh, power features, powerful features for that too, many powerful features, and that the they have a wide range of plans. Now, and it has a very reliable provider as well, so that's very, very handy uh, for me. But uh, one thing that I did not like about Liquid Web is that they don't have a free trial. And so that was one thing that kind of kept me back from it and putting it at number two spot. Now, if we're going to go over to the next one, is going to be domain dot com now domain.com i found very interesting i enjoyed it a lot they did have a stable and secure um platform for that they had unlimited storage and they even had a stable bandwidth or scalable bandwidth for you as well uh 99.9 percent .9 uptime guarantee which is really cool and a free ssl which is really great but one of the things that really makes domain.com not so interesting for me is that it doesn't have any monthly billing on free plans. So there are um, uh, small plans. So that kind of turned me off as well. It's because maybe I want to change from that. Maybe I want to go away, uh, try something else to find a better service. So uh, even just to go from monthly to monthly, it's really long term uh, with domain.com. And I didn't enjoy that quite as well. Uh, now, the next one is GoDaddy. Now, GoDaddy was interesting because it has a wide range of products with multi uh, multilingual support. So it doesn't matter where you at, where you are, or what kind of language that you speak, they're going to be able to help you. And they even have Linux and Windows hosting, which is super cool for me as well. One of the cons to this, though, is that it did not, um, it's not the change for some products. Like, so they don't have uh, many things that are going to change for that. Uh, so they're kind of just not in my bucket here, uh, but they do, uh, they're, they're not, you can't change it for some products and that's kind of bad for me. Uh, the next one I'm going to go over is Green Geeks. Now Green Geeks is cool too. Uh, I enjoy Green Geeks because it has 300% energy offset seam and powerful shared hosting. Uh, it does have SSD storage and WordPress and UPS hosting, UPS hubs hosting what i didn't like phone support isn't 24 7 so depending you're gonna have to kind of plan for that to be able to see uh if they're going to be able to help you uh, and that's one thing that really turned me off uh putting it in the position that it is now uh so if we could just change that 24 7 support green geeks is very great in my book what about in motion now in motion is very great as well uh in motion is one of those that is um kind of a a lot of people look at it very high uh, and because it does have WordPress hosting as well and it does have web design services and 24 7 hour, uh, 24 7 support but not all plans have monthly billing fees as well which kind of turns it off and so you're going to if you're going to uh, really look for in motion you're going to have to be ready to really fully commit 
Now, uh, what about HostGator? Now, HostGator is pretty great as well, um, but for me, in my experience, HostGator could be a little bit better. Uh, now, they have a 45-day money-back guarantee, which is great if you don't like it, right? Uh, so, they do have search credit as well. Uh, they do have unlimited disk space and unlimited bandwidth, which is super great. But, on the downside of this limited uh, UPS and dedicated servers uh, for that as well, so in limited uh, configuration options as well. So that kind of gives me, uh, it turns me off as well because I don't have that full scalability, I don't have that full options to be able to change what I truly like from that. Hostinger, on the other hand, is actually great. I enjoy Hostinger because it does have disk storage up to 200 gigabytes. Uh, free SSLs, free domains, it has uh, 300 websites that you can use and daily backups. Now, what I don't like is that the baseline shared are limited. Uh, so that's what I don't like as well. Um, but Hostinger typically is a pretty great site. It could be a little bit better as far as speed goes. But hey, that's just my opinion as well. Uh, now, what about Bluehost? Now, Bluehost, a lot of people really go crazy about Bluehost, and that's great. Uh, I enjoy it as well. Uh, unlimited bandwidth, they have free site migrations, free domains, 24 7 hour US support. But the thing that really turns me off is just average response time, where some of the other ones are actually much quicker. So that kind of turned it off for Bluehost. Now, uh, we also have Namecheat at the very last. Now, Namecheat, it's temptingly low price. It's a big plus for that. Helpful support uh, and an Oculus uh, applications installer. Uh, so that's pretty great as well, but it does have a few advanced extras. So it kind of puts it where it is now. So especially if you're starting to get into web hosting and you're really, really trying to get in uh, and you've already done it, you've already done all, this whole, all, this, all of this hard work for you, it's going to kind of limit you from growing and that's where it puts it in now click in the links try them out right now and let me know what you think